Hi, in this video we learn how to install and configure virtual host in Apache server. So this is just an overview in the beginning. I have one client there it may be a firewall will be there. I have one Apache server where the Apache uh, Apache will be installed and in this server itself we will configure different different port to redirect to different different web server and we have a two web server like web server which one for first one is running in SAP port 20010 and second web server is running in port SAP port of a 200 20020 so going for uh, let's uh, go ahead and see how that we can achieve this so we'll discuss in more about how to configure the apache web server virtual host for using the two web server different two web server we are like in web server one tomcat one instance will be running in web server two tomcat uh, second instance is running so we have to follow that some following steps first step will be install the apache httpd like uh, in apache server so i'm just i'm going to demonstrate all those things in unix environment so this is the first stop you have a uh, step you have to install apache httpd second step you have to install the java jre or <clears throat> you have to upgrade it whatever versions you want to and you want to configure it third step you have to install the tomcat in both web server which versions you want and what you want i'll be go ahead with what i have with me and fourth step how to access that uh, virtual host config uh, configure from that uh, client with name of a domain so <clears throat> go ahead with uh, step one in more details so we have to install that apache sdp in apache server so what we need one apache web server apache uh, web server is required uh, apache server is required not web server so we have to log in with a root user or we have to take a sudo access of that user and i'm just taking that example of a red hat um, interface linux or whatever you want you can go ahead with that so we have to perform that uh, if you log in with the root user in your uni uh, uh, unix environment you will be see the symbol has where you have to type that yum install all http httpd so if you have like a rpm is already uh, there in the server it will be installed that apache httpd so after performing this command it will take one or two uh, two minutes time it will come ask that a prompt you want to install or not package if there is a need to download from internet it will download it if already there in your unix rpm then it will be installed internally so after installations to we have to start a stop or restart the apache http like nothing but apache server so for this we have uh, we have to run the command like a check config httpd on so if you configure this one so by default the services will be installed on in init directory and it will be configured so going forward we can uh, go ahead with the etc you have to do all those things from root user itself well, I'm considering that so we have to type that slash etc slash init d this is nothing when initializations directory whenever server will be a start automatic the serv services will be up there is no need to do how however if you want to do manually a stop a start and restart then we have to perform that command slash etc slash init 
dot d slash httpd then if you want to start perform type that is start if you want to stop you have to do that stop if you want to restart you have to do that restart so there is a small um, things we have to consider once the services is a start then only we can restart and stop if the services is a stop then only when we have to start then restart will be work so this is a common thing of Hope, uh, hoping you, you are aware about that now uh, we have to add something configurations for um, our uh, domain and the SAP port what we discuss uh, year leading diagram so for that we have to edit the apache configurations while after installations of a apache there is only one one configurations by default one con main configurations will be there the name is the httpd.conf that is nothing but configurations file and the locations is slash etc slash httpd slash config slash http to conf if you do this once by root uh, viewing the command by root command like vi vi is nothing but a uh, editor for unix which with help of that we can edit that any file and we can do the modification so we have to type vi space slash etc slash httpd slash config slash slash httpd dot conf and then we have to press enter after doing that uh, after pressing the enter the something configurations will be there and we have to go that um, on that configuration don't delete don't remove anything just go all the way down while pressing the key down or page down and uh, we have to add that like a virtual host what we are uh, we are expecting uh, uh, to do that we want to redirect from one apache server to web to web server which is running in different different SAP port so there is a two applications running in a, like an, one tutorial by example and another one so we have to just i'm just referring first one is www.tutorial by example.com this is the domain and my applications is running in SAP. Uh, as a port to, uh, uh, 20010 and i want to redirect this applications to www.tutorialbyexample.com then the virtual host slash start that start will be indicate that any ip address clone 80 80 is nothing but apache by default port document root this is the root directory uh, root document root directory of that the domain where it will be identified and it will redirect it so slash home slash www this is the directory where this is that name of a server and the proxy pass that is nothing but if i'll send that any request with a slash then it will be directly redirect to ajp clone slash slash localhost 20010 so if i'll type www.tutorial by example by example dot com slash then it by default it will become over here so we'll get that uh, um, by pass rule and it will be redirect over here and in the and reverse as well if something is will required then it will go to reverse like some request will become then response is required so we have to do that second url i have configured that like asterisk so whatever will be there if that will be only slash will be there then first will be work proxy pass proxy pass i want to do that after that uh, example.com slash anything then it will be go come to that like a second proxy bypass and uh, reservations this is that the first web server configurations in apache config file now we are going to do that a second configurations which is uh, like similar like first one but there is a small change will be there virtual host star, star where star indicate that any ip address i just stated earlier and clone 80 so 80 is nothing but a uh, apache by default port and document room uh, root will be changed now instead of a material uh, by example now I'm, I'm going to refer www apache server web server dot com and uh, server name i'm just using the same the directory name whatever i created for document root 
and again uh, proxy pass and proxy pass reservations like a similar but over here the AJP port is different you, because in um, AJP port local host 202020 so instead of a local host over here we can mention that any IP address um, IP address of a second uh, uh, virtual host uh, web server and over here we have to replace that uh, instead of because i did that in everything in my local system like single system where i'm just referring that in local host and that different different port i'm running but it may be the sap port will be remaining same but ip address will be different then it will be work similarly we, ha we have to do that for proxy by passport slash strict tool it will be directing to the second web server now we have to save and um, uh, close that windows uh, like a uh, uh, config file then we uh, while doing that any configuration says the most important thing again we have to restart uh, restart or uh, stop and start it then only that config change configurations will be impact and uh, like and uh, reflect in that like an uh, apache and, and it will be uh, work accordingly so uh, restart the apache server while before doing the restart what we have to do we have to log in with the root user we have to type slash etc slash in it slash http did and restart uh, we had um, i already told that like ha has indicated that i have a login with a root user to um, um, step two to install that the java jre and upgrade uh, refer the java installations so for this uh, i'm just going to that internet and we have to search that how to install that java in a unix environment you can find that from uh, java website or oracle website whatever is convenient for you similarly for install and uh, all the just up a step is there remaining so if you have any doubt on installations in java then you just go through that net or feel free put that your comment i'll be more than happy to help it out if you let me know your exact environment and similarly we have to go ahead with uh, for um, uh, tomcat installations uh, as well just go through that uh, um, uh, Tom, uh, apache Tom, uh, apache apache tomcat website and go through that in unix unix sections and um, download that tar file unzip and install configure that port and then we'll see so this is the nothing but uh, installations of uh, java jre and operations and installations of uh, tomcat web server so i think the installations part i'm just skipping because it will take a huge time so i'm assuming that uh, java jre is installed and upgrade whereas uh, uh, tomcat web server is also installed and uh, up, 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 up updated as per that required versions now i'm assuming tomcat i have installed in both server and configuring as a ajp port so in web server one tomcat is installed and that ajp port is configured to 0010 and web server two tomcat with the ajp port is 20020 because and we have to map that ip address in above configurations so for checking this we have to go in um, one of that login in the web server and in go to the directory where you have installed the tomcat and slash config there is a server.xml file will be there in your tomcat directory now we have to find that a connector protocol this is nothing but a connector protocol where we find that ajp port ajp versions and ajp name, name number of a port so just keep this thing in a uh, first web server similarly we have to do that for in second web server as well and like a connector protocol ajp 1.3 uri encoding whatever you want to encoding and port whatever uh, port we have already used in a uh, second web server configurations which is not nothing but 20020 after doing this configuration change again you have to uh, restart both tom tomcat otherwise just stop and start that is a common thing so uh, uh, all about all configurations is done now we, what we have to do we have to test that is nothing but final step step so access the virtual host from client with a domain name access the both virtual host from any client or um, uh, mentions below like www.tutorialbyexample.com and second um, uh, virtual host map with a www.apache server web server.com 
there is one uh, small notes i want to put this will be work in your like accessible network don't expect this will be accessible in internet and internet um, internet sorry so this is that uh, local configurations and it will be accessible in inter uh, in lo your local uh, either in lo your single system or whatever ne network accessibility will be there otherwise in even though in your local local you have a firewall it will block that you have to open the port number uh, Apache port number running in that 8G, uh, 8G row. Um, so in this will be not it, it will be not work so this is all about um, how to configure that uh, Apache virtual host web server and it uh, it will uh, be directing to different different AJP port we can uh, configure that a uh, multiple AJP port and uh, we, we can run that a uh, different different uh, host mapping in, in a single apache server and there is no need to open that uh, like uh, we can say that in, if you'll see that my mouse pointer over here when there is one more firewall will be there if you'll have a firewall we can, no one will be access that but if the firewall we open that this server to apache server particular port on this ajp port then we have a accessibility over here and we can access that so this is that real time scenario in, in actual implementation such kinds of things will be there and single single port will be open and they will monitor that whatever request response is going on instead of directly allowing the access to that actual server so for textual information you can find from that uh, same thing uh, from tutorial by example website which is nothing but www.tutorialbyexample.com and just come and all the way find that uh, apache uh, virtual host configurations if you'll find that virtual that will be fair and enough or how to configure apache web server virtual host so see other topic is also there like it or by unix command example how to deploy the sub web services jmeter and other tutorials is also there if you'll show all the about uh, down just go all the way down you'll see the different different labels is there and thank you very much for the watching my video hope hoping you have enjoyed while watching the video feel free to put your um, um, and uh, if you have any comment have a good day ahead